Hi, and welcome back to Google Guru. Today I'm going to tell you all about using labels in Gmail. If you previously used a mail client like Outlook, you're probably used to putting messages into folders, where a message can only reside in one folder. The primary difference between labels and folders is that you can apply multiple labels to a single message. I have this email here that notified me that someone commented on a post on the website. So I automatically apply the website comments label to that using filters, which we'll get to in a separate video. I also decided that I can't get to this right now, so I want to follow up later. So what I did to add this follow up label is I just clicked on follow up and dragged it over to the message. There's a couple of other ways that you can add labels. From within the message itself, you can click on labels and then select all of the labels you'd like to apply. Or you can select multiple messages from within your inbox list and click labels and apply uh, multiple labels or a single label to all of those messages. If you use Google+, Gmail will automatically put labels for all of your different circles in your Gmail inbox. Um, I'm going to show you how you can turn that off in a second actually if you don't want that. But that's pretty much it for applying labels. Um, if you want to view all messages under a particular label, all you need to do is just click on that label in the left hand side here. And then you can also nest labels underneath each other. So I have one master label called notifications and then I have all of my social media notifications under that. So let's go to manage labels and I'll show you how to create a new label. If you saw how I did that, I just clicked more and then go to manage labels. You can also go to settings on the right hand side and then go to labels here. Here's where I can choose to show or hide all of these individual labels. I can also create new labels and I can organize them. So let's say I don't want my circles to show. I can just click hide to hide all of those labels. Now you can see I've only got sort of the more standard labels showing up in my inbox. Underneath that I have these standard labels and I can choose if I want to show or hide them in my label list or in the message list. And then I can also remove or edit. <clears throat> if you use IMAP to connect to your Gmail, this is a pretty important setting here. You can choose which labels you want to show in your IMAP connection. Let's say I want to create a new label for website comments that's going to go underneath notifications. I'll go to create new label, say website comments. And then since I want to nest it underneath notifications, I'm going to check that box and select notifications. So if I wanted to, let's see, put info at googleguru.com underneath marketing, all I'd need to do is go over here to actions, edit, and then nest label under marketing. You don't need to save anything on this page, it automatically saves. Um, and then there's also some system labels up here which I typically just leave as they are. Some people like to show uh, chats here. If you use chat a lot, you can quickly get to all of your chat records there. And then all mail, if you are if you use archive, the archive functionality a lot, you might want to show all, all mail because that allows you to get to your archive mail pretty quickly. So that's it for today. Hope that was helpful. And um, we're going to get to filters in another video, which is really another big component of how you apply labels to messages.